What's up guys, Samurai back with another reaction. Today we're going to be checking out Primus, Primus? I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's Primus. Just because I know Les Claypool is considered a you know, phenomenal bass player and I kind of found out about Primus through learning about Les Claypool. So I think I've checked out one of their videos and I just remember it being really wacky and uh, very strange just that that's the best that's the best way I can describe it it's, it has been a long time a few years since I've checked them out and ever since then I've just kind of wanted to get back into it and, and hear some more because it was really brief and I just don't remember much of it and anyways I just feel like I need to to, to dive in a little bit more so why not do it on the reaction channel? And yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't even remember which song I heard or what performance it was. But looked up their, you know, their songs. It seems like Tommy the Cat is uh, one of their big hits. So again, when I'm doing a band that I choose, I just choose whatever song, hoping that it is the best. Somehow it never turns out that way. So if this is not a good song to start off with, please point me in the right direction. One more thing, when I look up the, the song on Spotify, there are three different ones here with different artwork. So I looked up the song on Google and saw that it is on the album Suck On This. So I went with the version that is on that album so hopefully that's the right one. The other ones might just be like compilation albums or remasters or something. I don't know. Anyways, I think this is the original. We're just going to do this one. And hopefully it's the right one. Say, baby, you want to lay down with me? Say, baby, you want to lay down by my side? Baby, do you want to lay down with me? Say, baby! Say, baby! Point blank down the cavernous barrel, this awesome prowling machine. Truly a wonder of nature, the serpent predator. Tommy the cat had many a story to tell, but it was a rare occasion such as this that he did. Oh. Yep, I already hear the, the greatness in the bass. She came sliding on down the alleyway like butter dripping off a hot biscuit. <laughs> the aroma of the mean set was enough to arouse suspicion, even the oldest of the tigers that hung around the hot spot in those days. The sight was beyond belief. Many a head snap for double. Even triple takes this vivacious feline made her way into the delta of the alleyway. Where the most virile young cabbies were known to hang out. They hung in droves. Such a multitude of masculinity could only be found in one place, and that was O'Malley's out. The air was thick with cat calls, no pun intended. But not even a muscle in her neck did twitch as she saw it straight into the heart of the alleyway. She knew what she wanted. She was looking for that stubble. The he got! <laughs> well, the bass me. and drums are <laughs> insane. Tommy already. the Cat is my name. And I'll say under the...
Are we about to get a base solo right here? We need to. This is kind of dope. It's, it's the only wacky thing really is the the vocals and the delivery and the lyrics. <laughs> I'm, I'm not paying too much attention to the lyrics because, uh, well, he's kind of talking very fast and I'm trying to concentrate on the music. Like I said, I had a feeling it was going to be very distracting, at least some aspect of the music and the, the lyrics are a little bit on the first listen. But outside of that, I mean, this is really good musicianship, specifically the, you know, Les Claypool and the drummer. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. I should have looked this up, but they are locked in completely. Those drum fills and just that 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 groove that he has. Beautiful. Uh, and also the that snare tone is just prime time. But Les Claypool is killing it on this. I mean, his the slap technique with the you know with these ghost notes and these triplets that he's doing. Very, very crafty stuff. Very dope. And then obviously that that guitar solo was also dope, but not a whole lot of the guitar on this besides the solo and then some small things here during the the chorus. I I don't know, just these different sections. But on the main, I guess verses. I'm not even sure how to break up the the song structure here, but I, I, I would guess these are verses. There's no guitar at all. It's just bass and drums. Really just keep the, the rhythm and the and the groove. Wow, dope. Alright, I hope we're about to get a bass solo here. That would be fantastic. And the tone, bass tone, fucking beautiful. You can hear that mid-range on the bass here. Good amount of low end. And very mid-range. distortion on that. Chill out. You hear the, the mids are scooped here now. This is dope because it's live too. Baby, do you wanna lay down by me? Say, baby, do you wanna lay down by me? Say, baby, do you wanna lay down by me? Say, baby, do you wanna lay down by me? That, that was dope, man. That was dope. First, I really like that this was live. And I guess it, it is the album version. So that's dope. That's always dope when artists do that. Just stick a live song in the album and don't don't even state that it's a live version. It's cool. Definitely has a, a different, way different energy than, you know, if it was recorded in the studio. And, and then, just that, this, say, baby, do you want to lay down by me? Say, baby, do you want to lay down by me? I'm going to take a break here and look at the lyrics because uh, I don't even know, man. I don't know what he was talking about. But, I mean, the bass here was phenomenal, man. That bass solo was, ooh-wee! The, the first part of it, he had... A good bit of low end, 
but it was the 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 bass tone was very mid rangey with maybe even some top end on there. But then he threw on some heavy distortion on there and sort of played like some power chords or something, and then moved on to a you know uh, uh, the second part of the solo that was a little calmer i guess you could say but then also the the tone switched at that point because he kind of scooped that mid-range that was present in the first half and then the second half is mostly just the low end of the bass and then again the drummer here just fantastic sense of timing and and just groove and again that that snare timbre was just it just fits so well in the song because I feel like nothing else was occupying that that range in the frequency spectrum. So the the snare drum was kind of just alone in that space, which made it really clear and audible and easy to to you know follow along with it. But overall, the song was just very fun and groovy. At when it first started, it almost gave me Red Hot Chili Pepper vibes. Specifically, I think I was thinking of Give It Away. I I believe it started out very similar. And I don't know if, you know, if they were inspired by each other or what. I guess this is maybe during the same time frame, right? Maybe a little bit before Red Hot Chili Peppers. So you guys can give me some some context down below. Let me take a look at these lyrics, man. I'm be honest, I have no idea what the hell this is about. I feel like it's not as clear cut as just a female cat walking into the, to the to an alleyway full of male cats and looking for a specific cat. And maybe I'm reading too, you know, too much into it, but I just feel like this is kind of metaphorical for something. What is it? no idea so i'm gonna need you guys help to let me know down below on what the lyrics mean and what else to react to this was um <laughs> very wacky but fun and it was it was groovy and made me want to dance maybe want to get up and move so always like music like that you know not only does it uh, not only do i like music that affects me emotionally but music that affects me physically it makes me want to move along with it. I hope you guys enjoyed, man. I certainly did. That was fun. And I'm um, excited to hear more. So let me know down below. Hope you guys have a great day. This has been Samurai. Arigato and sayonara.